Hello and what's up guys, Medium Guy here and in this video we're going to compare Nginx and OpenRST based on their features and performances plus we'll see a basic deployment of each tool in a Docker environment. So without any further ado, let's get down to work. So as we can see in this picture, OpenRST is actually Nginx in its core plus Lua integrated with it. So as a result, we have OpenResty with custom scripts and dynamic content generation and stuff like that, that we're going to see more details about that in this video. So in the fast paced world of web technology, having a robust and efficient web server is essential for delivering content and services to users. Two popular choices that often come up in the discussions are Nginx and OpenResty. So these web servers play a pivotal role in handling web traffic, but they have distinct features and capabilities that cater to different needs. So we'll examine the core features, performance metrics, use cases, and customization options of both Nginx and OpenRST to help determine which one is the right fit for specific projects. So what is Nginx? Nginx is a high performance open source web server and reverse proxy. It excels in handling concurrent connections, serving static content quickly and offering versatility. So for the key characteristics, we can name being reverse proxy, caching, SSL termination, HTTP server, community and modules, and enhancing security and scalability as a reverse proxy. So as a reverse proxy, it distributes the client request to backend servers for load balancing. Also, it caches the static content to reduce server load and boost response times. And also, it manages SSL and TLS encryption for backend servers, also handling multiple domain names. It serves static files and handles HTTP requests efficiently, and actually it has an active community and modular support for customization. So in summary, Nginx is a versatile web server and reverse proxy known for speed, reliability, and adaptability, making it a top choice for various web infrastructure needs. So what is OpenResty? OpenResty is a high performance web application server that extends Nginx by integrating it with Lua. It empowers developers with Lua's flexibility for advanced web server configuration and behavior. Also, as its key characteristics, we can name the Lua integration, dynamic content, Nginx core, and community and modules. So it is deeply integrated with Lua, enabling custom scripts for HTTP requests and responses. It also excels in real-time data processing and dynamic content generation, and it is actually built on Nginx's speed and scalability while adding Lua scripting. So last but not least, it has active community and extensive module support for versatility. So for the performance comparison, we can name the static file serving, dynamic content generation, and resource usage. So for static file serving, Nginx is known for lightning fast static file delivery and efficient handling of concurrent requests, where OpenRST inherits Nginx's static file serving power with minimal performance impact from Lua scripting. So for dynamic content generation, Nginx is primarily a reverse proxy capable of basic dynamic tasks, but less suited for on-the-fly content generation. So on the other hand, OpenResty excels in dynamic content creation with Lua, ideal for real-time data processing and complex logic. But for the resource usage, Nginx thrives on low resource consumption, perfect for resource-sensitive environments, but OpenResty has slightly higher resource usage due to Lua scripting, but generally reasonable given its added functionality. So for this summary, Nginx rules static files and efficient proxying, while OpenRST thrives on dynamic content and custom logic. So we can use Nginx when it comes to static content delivery, reverse proxying, SSL termination, 
caching and scalability for high traffic websites. Also, we can use OpenRST for dynamic content generation, customized business logic for web apps and APIs, custom request handling, and as a middleware, especially in microservices architectures. So ideally, you can consider a blend of Nginx and OpenRST, choosing Nginx for handling the static content and a front-end proxy, while choosing OpenRST for dynamic logic for the back-end services. So, for the configuration and customization, both Nginx and OpenRST use the same syntax, which is a straightforward configuration that is shared between two tools and actually you don't need to learn different configuration for each tool. So in order to make a deeper dive into comparing these two tools, we're actually going to see how to deploy them with very basic configurations as a Docker container. So over here, if I hit LS, as you can see, I've got a Docker Compose file and two configuration directories, one for Nginx and one for OpenRST, plus a front-end directory that holds a very basic HTML file. So if I go ahead and nano the config file for the Nginx, you can see that I've got a very simple server block that listens on port 80 with only one location which uses the slash var ww front directory as its root and it'll actually try to serve the index.html file as the response if we make a request to the slash path. So similarly if I nano the config file for the OpenRST you can see that again I've got a server block that listens on port 80 which also has a slash location which will actually return a content by Lua block which will simply write hello OpenRST to the output. So I'll exit this file and try to nano the docker compose file and over here you can see that I've got two services one being OpenRST and the next is Nginx. So OpenRST uses the official OpenRST image and it actually maps the port 8080, 8080 to 80 inside the container so it'll be accessible from the outside network of the Docker container. So on the volume section you can see that the config directory for OpenRST is mapped to slash etc nginxconf.d directory inside the container. So whatever file with the .conf extension exists in this directory will actually be used by OpenSD as its configuration files. So next over here we've got an Nginx service which uses the official Nginx image. Also it has two volumes that are mounted inside the container, one being the Nginx's config directory to exactly the same directory as the OpenRST. So as we can see it is also a slash etc Nginx conf.d directory. And next we've got the dot slash front directory to slash var ww front which is the exact same path that we defined in the nginx's config file to look for static files. It also maps the port 8000 to 80 inside the container. Also as a result the nginx will be accessible from the outside network. So if I hit Control x to exit out of the nano and so quick I'm going to nano the front index.html file so we can see it is a very basic html file that exists right over here. So if I exit the nano and hit docker compose op-d to run it in detached mode so we can see that it creates a network sharing between these two containers and also we can see that OpenRST proxy container has been created plus the nginx container. So if I hit docker compose PS, I can see the containers that are being run with this docker compose file that exists in the exact same path that I am in right now. So we can see both the containers are up and running with the exact ports mapped to port 80 inside the container. So in order to test that they are working correctly, first off I'll hit docker compose logs dash f to follow the logs and dash dash tail 100. So actually it is logs and not log. 
I'll hit enter and I can see that the logs for the both containers are being shown over here. So I'll hit control C and right now if I say curl localhost on port 8000 I'll hit enter and you can see the exact same HTML is being served by the Nginx container. So similarly if I hit curl on port 8080 on port 8888 and if I hit enter you can see the hello OpenResty as a static response as we configured the OpenResty container with the configuration file. So for the conclusion, Nginx can be your go-to web server when you need exceptional static file serving speed, efficient reverse proxying and load balancing capabilities, low resource usage and high concurrency support, easy to understand configuration for straightforward setups. Also OpenResty, which now we know is an extension of Nginx, is the right choice for dynamic content generation with Lua scripting, custom request handling, and complex response manipulation, web application and API development with Lua for dynamic logic, and also as middlewares and microservices creation. So that's all for this video. I hope you learned something new in this one. And if you have any questions, any recommendations, of course, go ahead and ask me in the comment section down below. So hopefully, now you have a basic knowledge in distinguishing these two tools and choosing the best option for your use cases and your projects. So lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe, which will help grow the channel and motivate me to create more free contents like this. And lastly, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next videos.